What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be checking out some rimbrake road bikes that you can still buy brand new in 2021. As we all know, the cycling industry has been pushing the use of disc brakes on road bikes and it's it's been a trend especially in the latest mainstream models of most brands and um, most of them have responded to it by pulling their rim brake models off the shelves. But for me, as a rim brake lover, I can't help but wonder, is rim brake really that dead? So I just thought of sharing it with you guys while I casually browse through some of these gems that I found. Without further ado, here are 9 rim brake road bikes from 7 different brands that you can still buy brand new in 2021. To start it off, we have here a Wilia GTR team with the starting price of 17.50 euro. At first glance, it actually looks good. Let's check out what says here. Mm. Now let's check out some color schemes that they have available. Um, I'd probably go with the red with the white strip on it. It looks really nice. It's a standard Pro Team replica. Mm, I'm not not my cup of tea, but um, yeah, not too bad. Black and white matte. Check this out. Yeah, that one's good. I'd probably go with the red or the black one. Now let's see the components list here. Um, what's this saying here? Oh, actually. 1300 euro for actually for the frame kit it comes with the four yeah, headsets and all that stuff bottom brackets actual frame if you ask me I'll probably go with the 105 um, the 700 the 1700 euro model I mean 105 is actually good I mean these days you know it's um, it's actually comparable to the 10 year old Jurei Alright, next stop is the giant TCR Advance SO. Um, nothing really special here, it's just a actual frame, but it's it's really good to know that Giant still support um, rim brake, so kudos to Giant for that. Well it's a bit pricey though. Um, it's four grand for just a for just a frame, but it's it's the top of the line after all in a way, and it's it's giant, you know you can't go wrong with giant. Giant is one of those um, reputable brands out there. Alright now, so this is the Boardman SLR 8.9 starting at 1100 pounds, British pounds. The frame geometry looks um, trendy and, and modern to me. It, looks, it actually looks like an aero bike. Yeah, it's actually aero optimized. See a group set. It's not too bad. It actually seems to be a mix of um, Shimano 105 with um, FSA components. Um, Tektro calipers, though. Uh, I'm, I mean, that's it's not a bad thing. But for 1100, I mean, it's not it's not really that bad, you know. Oh, the thing here is um, the the seat post is made of alloy. But you, you know, you can just upgrade it as you go along. 8.9 kilograms. Oh, wow, that's that's on the heavier side. But you know, it's it's just the entry model. 1100 pounds. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, this this is one of those bikes that you can buy and and ride it straight away and and eventually ditch all the components and slowly upgrade it to your liking. You know. Alright, next one is the Ridley Noa 24T. Damn, this is uh, this is an aggressive bike, you know. Um, just a, it looks really fast. It's an aero bike, I, I believe. Yeah. Well, you can't only select Ultigra, but the, fo the photo shows you Jurais, but you know whatever. Thirty-five, thirty-six hundred um, euro. It's actually a good price if you get these Fulcrum wheels as well with the Ultegra um, grip set. Alright, I'll just scroll down and check out some, some shots here. 
Oh, data um, headsets. Oh, this one is a sexy beast, man. Oh, I love the 10 wheel tires. Especially if you have a black bike, you know, black frame with the black deep wheels. 10 wheels would really look good on, on it. Alright, the next stop, Bianchi. Bianchi Sprint 105. The Italian brand. Oops. Oh, product not available in your country. You have briefly ridden one of these bikes, um, the Bianchi Sprint. It's a really stiff bike, man. I mean, it's really good. I mean, I can tell it's really good for criteriums if you're racing criteriums, and it's, it's a good option, this one. It's a pretty looking bike as well. I mean, look at that. Stack height is not that high. You know, you go down low. Very aggressive. Let's check out some details here. It's funny how they showed the, the disc brake version of it. Yada yada yada. Alright, I think that's about it for Bianchi. Next we have from another Italian brand, uh, Penarello. It's the Penarello Prince. Look at those curves. I'm not usually a big fan of curvy frames, but um, I guess this one would be an exception. It's a hell of a sexy bike, this one. Alright, let's check out the available colors. Wow, I like this blue, man. Blue steel. It's dark, deep blue. I really like it. Yeah, I like how it's got a... Oh, this one's nice too. Oh, it's good. Black. Black and black. Bob. Yeah, you can see that. Oh, this is a red one. It's nice. It's... It would... You would stand out if you... If you ride this red one. You would stand out in a peloton. Yeah. White frame. They're good if you have a... Um, black, um... Deep wheels as well. Alright, for the ladies, pink on black. We have another one from um, Pinarillo, the Pinarillo Gan. Dude, I have ridden one of these. Um, one of my mates' spike is this one. Uh, it's a really nice bike. It's uh, based out of the um, the Dogma F8. It's an aggressive bike, man. It's not a bike for everyone, but but I can tell that it's a really fast one. I mean, you have the race, uh, the racing pedigree of the F8 Dogma, but without the price tag as well. Let's check out some colors here. Another black and black. I mean, I'm not. I wasn't a fan of the orange one. It's too bright for me. This red one is cool, with all this um, speed strips that looks like it. Alright, the next one we have from the German brand, Canyon, the Aero CF SL7. I like this blue fade, let's check this out, Ooh, look at that. I like the fade from, from purple to blue, light blue, you know, with that white accent on the top top tube seems that they have sold out most of the sizes so and they are offering the medium size and available in august 2021 it seems like if i'm not mistaken it seems like that would be their last batch for this model i mean i might be wrong you know who knows another thing for this bike is the price value it's a, uh, it's a four thousand five hundred Aussie dollars. I mean, you get a like an aero aero frame with aero deep wheels, carbon wheels as well. So I think that's a good deal. You get the one hundred five R seven thousand group set, but hey, it's a seven point six kilogram bike, you know. Um, it's, it's it's actually. A light bike for an aero bike, you know. 
And the last but not the least, still from Canyon, it's the Canyon Ultimate CFSL7. This is the exact same model as the one that I have, the one that I ride at the moment. And probably my favorite bike in this video. And yeah, I am biased towards it because I ride one currently. I mean, just just look at that. It's a one pretty bike, mate. Look at that. I mean, for 2,600 Aussie dollars, how can you go wrong with this one? It's and it's only 7.75 kilos claim weight, but mine I ha I have upgraded the wheels to uh, fulcrum high end fulcrum um, zero nights, and it's now sitting at around 7.2 kilograms, and that is you know light for for this price range. 26, it's 2650 Aussie dollars, man. You can't go wrong with that one. Actually, 7.72, sorry for saying 0.75. Alright, so that's about it for today. Um, it's really good to know that we still have op some options if you want to buy rim brake road bikes in 2021. Also, big kudos to these mentioned brands for still supporting rim brakes. And uh, alright. If you enjoy contents like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Peace out.